Dr. Ake reviews Netflix's Outlaw King. Short review. This movie was a welcome surprise. I did not expect much from it, and I knew very little going in, and I was hooked from the beginning. Great writing, acting, score, directing, I could go on. Really enjoyed. Writing gets an 8 out of 10. The writing was very good. The dialogue had some great subtext. The characters and relationships were written very, very well. Uh, beginning, I give an 8. Uh, excellent opening. We are shown the King of England as he accepts the surrender of the Lords of Scotland. Uh, they tell us everything we, we need to know in a very natural and well-written way. Also, the rivalry between the Prince of England and uh, the Lord Bruce is established very well. Um, ending is eight. Amazing, realistic battle. And the Scottish King's use of the terrain was just brilliant. Uh, characters get an eight. Amazingly written. And the interactions were just amazing. They were so natural. Uh, performances gets an 8. Some of the best acting I've seen in a very long time by everyone involved. Timing gets an 8. Very well paced. Maybe a bit fast, but that personally didn't bother me. I enjoyed how it flowed and it kept me hooked the entire time. Uh, sound gets a 7. Good sound effects. Uh, score gets an 8. Great score throughout and a few times it really stands out. Uh, visuals get a 7. Most of the visuals were great. There's a few times that they didn't hold up perfectly, but they were far and few between. Uh, believability and relatability are NA because uh, these are real events. Uh, editing gets a 7. Very good editing. Antagonist is a 7. The English King, in the beginning he's the Prince, was played very well. It is obvious that he's not suited for the throne and his mistakes and shortcomings were very stark. Uh, movie did not make me cry. Production value gets an 8. This movie didn't feel cheap, like, at all. With with the exception of those few special effects that I'll get into later, uh, this movie just seemed to spare no expense. Very good. Um, overall enjoyability gets an 8. I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, Rewatchability slash recommendability gets a whopping 9. I was very pleasantly surprised by this movie, and I recommend to everyone, and I can't wait to rewatch this once it's not so fresh in my mind. Okay, now for the pros and cons. Pros. The opening. Great subtext in the dialogue, superb acting, score, and specifically I really liked Elizabeth's uh, I Choose You speech to Chris Pine, the King of the Skulks. Um, I really liked that little speech. Also, I really liked uh, her and his growing chemistry on screen throughout the film. Uh, I love how honest their first uh, lovemaking scene was. Um, then there was that amazing ambush battle that they had. Uh, just really great. <laughs> Angus's wife slaps him across the face when they get back to his... Uh, <laughs> and she just slaps him across the face. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> Excuse my horrible accent, but yeah, it was just hysterical. Um, amazing acting by Liz throughout, but especially in that scene when uh, they're captured, her and uh, Chris Pine's daughter are captured, and the sisters take the stepdaughter away. Really great acting by her. Also, I liked uh, when they switched over and they just said, no more chivalry. It's like, yes, it's about to get really messed up. Can't wait. Uh, the teenager with the crown throughout the movie, he had the crown for the king. He just he just warms your heart every time he's on the screen. He's just... <clears throat> and the end, <laughs> the Douglas scene at the end was just... It made me laugh out loud. It was awesome. Um, also, amazing, amazing use of the land by the sculpts. Now for the cons. Not that many. Um, there, there's that part in the movie when that one army lets the Scots pass. Like, they just pass, and then they get to the river, but then a few minutes later, that army that let them pass just ambushes them and, and attacks them. Well, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just attack them right then and there if they were going to attack them? Why let them pass at all? Like, yeah, it's an ambush, and but it just didn't seem... I don't know. Moving on. 
Uh, the gutting of the hung man um, in that one scene when they capture Elizabeth. I'm pretty sure that that's one of the lords, one of the uh, Scottish lords, the king's brother. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure. He gets hung, and then they gut him. And that's the scene I was talking about earlier, the special effects that didn't hold up perfectly. It just looked a little fake, but, you know, whatever. And that's it for the cons for me, actually. Like I said, some people thought it was paced a little quickly. I didn't really think so. I thought it was paced just fine. Final thoughts. This movie just did everything right for me. I really enjoyed pretty much every second of this movie. I don't know what more I can really say. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but just super enjoyable for me. Just really my taste if that makes sense. Uh, I recommend and hope y'all enjoy it just as much as I did. Rating is an 8 out of 10. Big old 8. This concludes my review of Netflix's Outlaw King. If you'd like to see more videos by me, click the thingies. Uh, also, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future reviews, let me know those as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope you share this video and tune into the next one. Bye.